Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and in this video, we're gonna create some explosions. Obviously from the thumbnail, I don't mean these types of explosions, but what I'm talking about are accent explosions, which are 2D motion graphics that can be used to enhance your motion graphics. So perhaps you're working on a title and you want some creative elements. What an accident explosion can do for you is add more emphasis to your title, put more eyes on the message. So accident explosions are a great little motion graphic element that you can use to spice up your graphics. So let's go ahead and learn how to do these really cool accident explosions just within a couple of minutes and it's gonna be really awesome. Let's jump in it. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna create a new layer and we can call it circle. And I'll change the color to white. And we'll come here to the tools at the top and we'll grab the ellipse tool. And we'll draw out a circle from the center here. Hold down shift on your keyboard. And you can also hold down control, draw it from the center. And here we have a circle. And then what we'll do here is duplicate the mask and control D on a PC. And we'll set the mask to to subtract, increase the mask expansion by a little bit. And it'll give us a hollowed out circle like this. And now what we can do is hit S on our keyboard for scale. And we can add a keyframe and scale this down to 0%. And now we'll just have this animation. And we'll come over here and add a keyframe for mask expansion. Move forward in time. And then we'll set up the mask expansion to about probably about 12. And then we'll come here to mask 2. So add a keyframe for the mask expansion. Move forward. And we can set this all the way past 12. So now we'll have this very small circle that's being animated just like this. And of course we can make all the keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And with this centered within our composition, we just appear on keyboard for position, add a keyframe at the beginning. And we'll move forward just by, you know, a second and a half. And we can just move over our animation to anywhere we want. And simply our circle will animate in from the center, just like so. So now what we can do is duplicate this layer. Just hit PR keyboard and we can select our keyframes for position. And reposition the last keyframe just to offset where the circle is duplicated. Do the same exact thing. We can continue to reposition the circle. And obviously this is a you know, very quick workflow here. And now we have a group of hollowed out circles animating. And now we can work on some other shapes. Let's do like a series of lines here. So what we can do here is grab say the pen tool and we can just draw out a straight line like this. We make sure no layer is selected and we come here turn on the stroke by clicking this icon on to solid color. And we can turn off the fill and set it to none. Click OK. And obviously here I'll solo this real quick. We want to create a circle of lines here. So this is very easy to do. What we want to do is open this up and let's come here and let's add a repeater. We'll open repeater one. We'll go into transform repeater one. It'll set the X position down to zero. And we'll increase the anchor point Y position up and we'll increase the number of copies and then let's increase the rotation and then we'll continue to increase the anchor point Y until this is nice and straight. So you might need to go crazy with it and then set the rotation up and increase the number of copies. And then just hit S on your keyboard for scale and we just decrease the scale of this. And now we have our you know array of lines in here. And if you want to add more lines to this, you can just, you know, manipulate the rotation until you're satisfied with the alignment and that looks good and then come to the pan behind tool and control double click it till the anchor points in the center and then let's go ahead and remove our entire array of lines in the center of our composition and then we'll come here and we'll add a keyframe for scale just hit S and keyboard we'll add a keyframe set it down to zero percent and we'll move forward and we can increase this by a touch and then you go into the contents and go to the stroke one and add a keyframe for the stroke width and we can have the stroke width go down to zero. And now we have a circle of lines in here. And like before, we can duplicate this and just reposition where we would like this to be. And now this is currently what we have. And of course, I, I do suggest offsetting these layers in time as well. And then let's do one last shape and we're gonna grab the uh, polygon tool and we'll come here and we'll draw out a perfect polygon like this. And this time we'll use a fill and we'll turn off the stroke and we'll open up the polystar and we'll go into the polystar path and we'll set the number of points down to three. So we use a triangle and like before, we'll make sure this is in the center of our composition and let's make sure we add a keyframe for position and rotation. Hold down shift R on your keyboard, bring up rotation and here is rotation and we'll add a keyframe for both of these and we'll move forward and we can rotate this and then we'll reposition it like before. And for this, we'll just do a simple scale animation. So we'll have a start at 0%. And we'll have it end at 0% as well. And now we can continue the accent explosion animation if we by quickly duplicating our elements and no one's going to realize how 
the similar these elements are because there's a lot of el shape elements in here that we are able to easily create. So perhaps you don't wanna create these motion graphics from scratch every single time. So what I suggest doing, go ahead and check our links in the video description. All the previews you're seeing right now are from Video Hive, and these are all motion graphic packs that are pre-made so you can drag and drop these elements on top of your current graphics and they'll be pre-made and ready to go within a drag and a drop. So you're able to have these pre-made assets, saving you plenty of time so you can work on other things within your project. So, so go ahead and check our links in the video description if you are interested in any of these packs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this accent explosion video. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always be creating.